The name's Shikanoin Hazo, sharpest and most successful detective of the Tenryo Commission. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Life's really put you through the ringer recently, hasn't it? I can tell. Here, why don't you take a seat? Tell me the whole story. There's something in the air. Something that tells me a new case is brewing. Doing detective work means you gotta walk the walk. Uh, no, I mean literally. I need to search high and low for evidence. Huh. My intuition tells me that something very interesting is about to happen. Let's just hope the rain hasn't walked. I wonder which criminal mastermind just protested their innocence in court. <laughs> a liar by the sounds of it. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the case of the vengeful spirit of Dragonspine? It all happened on a dark, snowy night, long ago. <laughs> it's gonna take a little more wind than that to form a cyclone. Morning. <gasps> uh, oh my, you don't look so good. You didn't have a nightmare, did you? Oh, I should have known not to expose you to such a shocking case so soon. All right. <clears throat> now that lunch is over... What do you say we play a game to keep our minds sharp? Huh? Relay stones? <laughs> okay, I guess we can warm up with that. Once the sun is clocked out for the day, it's up to the stars to keep criminals at their watchful gaze. Great! It's time to hit the hay. I wonder what dreams will be tonight. A detective should be using their hearts to crush criminals' hopes of getting away with their crimes. So, really... A true detective should never even have to touch their weapon. Seems to me like these commissions of yours are an endless gold mine of cases, and you'll never be able to finish them all. So maybe you could throw one my way every once in a while? Not the ones that involve fighting, running, errands, or searching for lost items. As you know, not my style. I only take on big, important cases with lots of mysteries to solve. So, keep an eye out for me, yeah? <laughs> Coincidence is a nice word. It makes things sound like they were meant to be. Unfortunately, as a detective, I don't believe in coincidences. The two of us meeting each other is really the culmination of every choice and move we've made up to this point. So what I'm saying is, our destiny is something we choose. As you piece together the trail of clues, it brings you closer and closer to the culprit. And then, that moment when you finally put the last piece of place i always get a sense of accomplishment it's exhilarating not only does being a doshin come with a certain amount of prestige but it also puts me closer to the action on some of the toughest cases so the position has definitely brought my agency as for days apprehending criminals and so on i feel like that's the There's a limit to how much a single detective can do, you know. Question, Traveler. How much do you know about timber? That's right. I'm talking about wood from any ordinary tree you might find along the roadside. Whether a criminal bumps into the bark, disturbs a pile of sawdust, or treads on some leaves, the chances are they're always going to leave a trace somehow. Add to that some knowledge of which trees grow in what areas, and if you're lucky, you can infer some crucial details. So, you know, trees. They're a sleuth's best friend. Even if someone chooses to remain absolutely silent, you can still learn a lot about them just by observing their clothes, posture, and facial expressions. Now, if this conversation ended here, what could you gather from my appearance alone? Would you like to sit in on the court trial at the Tenryo Commission sometime? It's like watching the truth slowly emerge as a collage of facts is pieced together. I can save you a really good seat, but we'll have to pretend like we don't know each other. You know, just pretend. <sighs> there are always those people who resort to violence at the very last second, as if that'll somehow solve their problems. It's a real bummer. Victory for me is to see the look on the defendant's face as they finally confess to their crime in the face of my ironclad evidence and watertight deductions. The moment a detective has to use brute force... They've already lost. Name me one item of food that doesn't taste better deep-fried. You can't, right? Whether it's meat or veggies, as long as it's been pulled out of the fryer, I'll love it. 
I don't think anyone with an empty stomach can resist the smell of fried food. I cannot stand dinner at the police station. It's always the same regimented meals, and don't even get me started on the taste. When it comes to food, you can't enjoy it unless you get to pick exactly what you want, right? But no poor me has to make do with slipping out and grabbing a quick bite. <sighs> mm -hmm. I love it. You really outdid yourself this time. Well done. Would you say cooking is more of a physical or a cognitive task? Hmm. I believe it's both. No wonder you're such a good cook. <clears throat> Let me think, where did you go wrong here? After I learned that today was your birthday, there was a brief moment when I really wanted to take you to a locked room chock full of mechanisms and gifts where you could only get out by solving all the puzzles. <laughs> it's actually really fun. You know, of course, I wouldn't do anything like that unless I was sure you'd actually enjoy it. Here, come with me. There's this beautiful scenic spot I've got to show you before the sun goes down. As I get stronger, my intuition gets sharper. It appears my combat abilities are advancing. Too bad it's not all cognitive. Fracture! The truth hurts! Bring it on! Confess! Cyclone! Can't fool me! Oh, it's all coming out now. See? Just follow my intuition. Hm. I'm liking the look of this. <sighs> If that's how you want it. That was discombobulating. This is no job for a detective. Whoa there, watch it. That's it. I'm taking this case over. The truth will come out. From detective to victim. I've been outsmarted. You don't want to do this. We got a situation. I'm on the case. Got a problem you can't solve. Clue me in. Let's move before the trail goes cold. <laughs> 